All right, guys, so today I'm over here at Little Palermo's here in Silsby, Texas. They have a deli, they have a store, and they make some great pizza. Tons of people have told me to come here to check out this place. This is in Silsby, off the Highway 96. Let's go check it out. I've been a chef for, uh, I'd say, 20 years of uh, my life and uh, worked on ships all my life. So uh, I got out of it, landed on land, and here I am. I opened up a deli uh, here in Silsby. We do a lot of sandwiches here, pizzas. We try to keep things authentic and people kind of relate to from their past maybe. You know, when they were younger, their mom used to cook for them. And we try to keep things along those lines uh, of flavor profiles and things like that to, to uh, kind of bring, kind of hit home, you know. Uh, so we, we uh, use the simple ingredients, but fresh, and uh, we, we know how to put it together, so it works. I think that it's a good product, and, uh, and, and we put a lot, of, uh, a, lot of, a lot of love into our food here. So I want to invite everybody to come out and check us out on US 96 Bypass. So it's going toward Evadel, right past the Walmart and, uh, in Silsby, Texas. So I made it into Little Palermo's. I ordered a few of the dishes. I asked him what were the most popular ones. I uh, didn't really get the muffalata, but I got the mob hit, which is like, you'll see, you'll see. I got the mob hit, I got the Goomba, I got the Bronx chopped cheese, because you don't see a chopped cheese here in uh, the Southeast Texas area. And then I got two pizzas, so a ton of food. And after this, I'll probably also try some of their desserts too, because they have desserts that they bake fresh, uh, you know, pretty frequently. So they're over here making the food, it's a nice little uh, tight space, but it's cool because you're like in the deli area. Right behind me is the refrigerators. They got the fresh breads, some cheeses, and desserts too. You got some tiramisu right here. So while waiting for my food, let's go check out what the other customers think about the Little Palermos. My name's Gus Dixon. Uh, I just tried this place the other day. My mom had came here and told me about it, and I was like, man, I, I really love New York style pizza, so I want to try it. And uh, I just immediately, when I took a bite into it, I knew it was my favorite pizza place automatically. Like, I'll never get Papa John's, Pizza Hut, or anything ever again. Please come to this place. It is amazing. Give it all the business in the world, please. My name's Chris, and my favorite is the, the mob. A pizza or the sandwich, they're both great. What do you love about this place? It's the service, uh, outstanding, the food's impeccable. Uh, it's just a great place to be with the family, friends, anytime. So on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, they have a deal on the pizzas. So uh, it's like five, eight, and 10 for the small, medium, and large. So I got me a small pepperoni and mushroom pizza. Let's give it a taste. There you go, there's the pizza right there. Good crisp on the crust, and the uh, sauce is good too. Sure. All right, so the rest of my food just came, but eating the pizza, pizza's really good. I'm enjoying it, especially for five bucks. Can't beat that. Good crisp on the crust. Solid pizza. And the sandwiches look delicious. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it even has the uh, pepperoni that like cups up. All right, this is the Goomba right here. So this has salami, capricola, mortadella, provolone cheese, top of the arugula. Look at that, so pretty. And the sandwich is only $7.95. Just nice, look at that, so nice. All right, let's give it a taste. Taste all the different meats. Mm. It's got like a mayonnaise in there too. There's a pepper mayo, so that's the red mayo y'all can see in there. Everything just works well together. The bread is nice and soft. 
You gotta have a good sandwich bread for a good sandwich. That's amazing. Really good. The Goomba. Now I'm gonna switch over to the Mob Hit. This is the Mob Hit right here. It has black forest ham, spiced capicola, provolone cheese, sweet and spicy sauce, made with arugula, cherry peppers, and pickled onions. Again, a really pretty looking sandwich. Another solid sandwich. It has like the oil, the vinegar in there, gives it a little bit of tang. And then of course the cherry peppers and everything else. Definitely another banger. You gotta get this one. So Goomba, Mob Hit. All right, so this is the chopped cheese right here. So basically in bodegas in New York City, which are like gas station delis, they make chopped cheese. And this is kind of like a uh, cheeseburger chopped in a sandwich form. So right there, y'all can see that. Got some lettuce, tomatoes in there. Let's give it a taste. Basically, what I described. It's a cheeseburger, chopped form. Cheesy with the mayonnaise. Good solid sandwich. Out of the three sandwiches that I got, uh, I got the mob, the Goomba, and then the chopped cheese. I'd probably have to give it to the Goomba. I do like that red pepper mayo on there. It gives it a little extra kick. And again, these sandwiches are just so freaking gorgeous. Look at that. Look. Uh, there you go. Look at that. All right, let's try this pizza. All the dough, grandma's pizza. Look at all that cheese. Look at that cheese. This is like fresh out of the oven. They make everything fresh here. So if you get a sandwich, they're making it fresh. They're making the pizza fresh. They also sell pizza by the slice over here. So it's $4 for a pizza by the slice. But let's give this a taste. This is a, a big boy. Mm. He was telling me about the pepperonis. They are those, those cup pepperonis that collect the oil in, the, in there. This, is, this one, you have to wait 20 minutes for it to cook because it is a bigger, thicker pizza. They got some fresh basil on there. Again, this is a winner. So I am taking all this food home. I'm not throwing away. I'm gonna eat this for the rest of the week, pretty much. All right, I got all the pizza. Got the pizzas. Got this big, big boy, the grandma pizza. Now I'm gonna get some dessert. That's gonna be my last thing. I'm already full, but just for you guys, I'm gonna try out some desserts. They have some fresh pastries and also some tiramisu. So let's go try those things out. All right, I forgot to press record. So let's try this tiramisu right here. I already ate almost half of it, so I'll tell you how much I liked it. But it's so good. Creamy. Got the espresso in there too. This is really good. I also got some cannolis. So I'll wait for that, but definitely get this when you get come here. You just have to pick it up right there in the refrigerator. All right, this is the last thing I got today. This is the cannoli. It's huge. Got pist pistachios in there. Those are imported shells from Sicily. Uh-huh. Pistachio, ricotta, little mini chocolate chips, and lemon zest. Mm -hmm. Nice. pistachio. How do you eat it? Just eat it? Or do you, do you pick it up and eat it? <laughs> okay, let's do it. 
<laughs> so he was telling me everything's like New York, kind of Louisiana. That's where his roots are from. And this is the cannoli. Shells imported from Italy. You get the ricotta from New York. It's really good. Like, definitely like a, almost like a cheesecake, but not really, with a crunch. I'm gonna box all this stuff up and I'll tell you what I think about it in the car. All right guys, so I'm done with Little Palermo's. I love the place. The place had a great little ambiance. It was like a little bit of a deli inside there with a deli counter, you'd order some food and take it home. The pizza, their deals right now are great. $5, $8, and $10 for their pizza, small, medium, large, up to a 16 inch for $10. You can't beat that and he makes them fresh for you. The sandwiches were delicious. Those desserts were great. The tiramisu was my favorite. Cannolis were good too, but make sure to check them out. I love it when the chef has passion and he definitely had a lot of passion to cook his food. He was telling me about his ingredients. He was telling me about his dough made 72 hours. It takes 72 hours to make that and telling me everything. He's just a fun guy to go talk to. If you're there waiting your food, he'll definitely chat you up, but I enjoy the place. Make sure to check them out over in Silsby. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to follow me to the food, make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.